This is Gemini Mountain Swimwear in Missoula. Owner Samantha Alario says social media has been a big part of promoting her business. Getting on TikTok a few years ago has brought her some viral attention and some new customers, and now it's gotten her involved with the nationwide debate about the app. Alario started Gemini in 2015. We uh, make sustainable swimwear uh, designed uh, for women, but most notably mountain women, um, to help them feel more comfortable, confident, and like a one of a kind. 100% of the production is done here in uh, Missoula, Montana. In 2019, she started posting to TikTok, and she says the impact on her business was obvious. I mean, you could just get millions of views, hundreds of thousands of views. I mean, I went viral a couple of times in 2020. And so that's where I got, you know, 20,000 followers. That's what's so beautiful about their algorithm is that anything has a chance of going viral. But in 2023, Alario heard the Montana legislature was considering a bill to ban the app within the state. I do not think that they're taking into account the economical value that holds um, this app for a lot of the small businesses, for a lot of content creators, for a lot of single moms out there. She says she reached out to elected leaders to advocate against a ban. Then once it was signed into law, she was one of five Montana-based content creators who filed a federal lawsuit. A district court judge blocked enforcement of the law, though the state has appealed. Supporters of Montana's TikTok ban and the federal legislation have cited concerns that the Chinese government could access user data through its parent company headquartered in China. TikTok has repeatedly denied those accusations. The latest federal bill would give the company up to a year to sell the app. Otherwise, TikTok could be banned from U.S. app stores. Alario says she sees the concerns about data security as fear-mongering. I'm all about data privacy, but if we actually care about data privacy, then we should be creating laws that are monitoring every app's, you know, what they do with our data, not just TikTok. She says losing that platform would be a blow to businesses like hers. Social media allows me to sell outside of my state, allows me to have a year-round business selling bikinis. I can't do that without social media. So for, for the state and for the country to be taking that away, they're literally taking away money from the economy. The next step in the case on Montana's TikTok ban will be consideration in the federal Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. In Missoula, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.